the protests here in Clarksville over the, you know, the police brutality and the death of um, George Floyd. And it was interesting and exciting, and it made me a little nervous to be there. And there were a lot of people, and there, were a lot of, there was a lot of anger and a lot of emotion. Um, but just to be there and be capturing that, I really enjoyed that aspect of what I did. Yeah, there's... Um... Because I watched that via a live stream by a uh, live stream by a lady by the name of Treva. I'm sure I'm saying this wrong. Treva Gordon. Um, she was actually referenced in that the article in the Leaf Chronicle about all this. Um, and I remember thinking that while watching it, especially when I saw the mayor show up, which to me was really amazing. So the mayor showed up along with some city council members, and I believe a state representative was there as well. And they just started. They just started talking. They said, look, we're listening. Talk to us. And I, I remember thinking, I'm witnessing something kind of historic right here. This is a pretty important moment. And journalists, and in this case you, I think they say they're always on the forefront of history, and you were right there for that. I was, and I was able to get a couple of good shots of Joe Pitts, Mayor Pitts, in the midst of that. And uh, I have to admit, I, I've always liked Joe. I'm a fan of his. I think he's a, a really good person with a really good heart trying to do the best in any situation. And I think he's great for Clarksville, and I think it really showed last night in the way he approached that. Because he, I mean, it was dangerous, and it took courage for him and his wife to walk into that situation. And he didn't go in and try to preach to everybody what to do and how to think and how to feel. He just went in and listened to what they had to say. And uh, it really did. I could feel while I was there, I could feel that it did make a difference. It really diffused the uh, situation to some extent. And, and, and afterwards, as he was walking out of the inner part of the circle, he was kind of getting out to the outer edges of it. People would stop him and say, Mr. Mayor, thank you. Mm. And uh, one guy said, uh, you know, what are you going to do if something like this happens in Clarkson? How are you going to handle it? He said, first of all, we're going to do everything we can to make sure nothing like this ever does. We always do our best. And he said, if something like this happens in Clarksville, you can hold me to account. We will do the right thing. And the guy says, well, I'm going to do that. I'm going to make you accountable. That's, that's, that's all I'm asking. Just believe me when I say we will do everything we can to do the right thing. And, you know, that's... You're right. I, I haven't seen any other mayor on the front lines like he was. Um, and it's really impressive. We're very lucky to have him and Cindy in charge here. Yeah, I was kind of amazed. I, I've seen other accounts where um, police joined in, showed some solidarity, but Clarksville, and I'm not going to say there aren't other communities where this happened, I just haven't seen it. Uh, Clarksville was the first and so far only community I've seen where the mayor, city council members, and a state representative came in and they, they said, you know, you talk, we're here to listen. Tell us what's happening. 